what's in my purse video, which is kind of exciting. I always loved to watch these videos back like in the day when I first started watching YouTube. And not a lot of people do them now. And I haven't done one on the channel yet. So I thought today would be a perfect time because I do have a really, really cute bag that I really, really like. So I thought I would share it with you. But before we get into it, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to like this video if you do. I'm sure you will. Because um, everyone's nosy. Everyone loves to know what is in someone else's bag. Tell me not. So if you're interested to see what I have in my purse, then just keep watching. So this is the purse that I have. It is a really, really big tote. I got it from the website shopilovejewelry.com and I did get my initials uh, ma manogrammed. Is that is that how you say it? I don't know. Um, yeah, so I got ARY. I got married in the summer of 2017 and I recently changed my name this summer. So I really, really want to embrace my new last name. So I thought a perfect Wait, sorry, that was Hoppa. Uh, I thought a perfect way to kind of do that is to get a personalized item. So I saw this floating around, you know, the gram, and I absolutely fell in love with it. And as soon as I got it in the mail, I fell in love with it even more. So it's huge. I think it's like a foot and a half big. It's, it's huge. I don't even know how to describe it. But basically, it's just like, it's just a giant tote. It's like a canvas kind of color, um, and it has the light brown um, handles and the chains. It's silver. It, I don't know. I think it's I think it's beautiful. I don't know how to describe it. Because it is like a giant tote, I got an organizer from Amazon to kind of organize what's in there, and I love it. It's pink. It's light pink. You can kind of see it. I didn't get the right size, uh, even though I literally measured like 14 times. So enough about my purse. Let's just get in to what's in there. By the way, if you hear any sort of noise, it's because I have two dogs and they're being very disrespectful right now, making a lot of noise. So I apologize. Let's jump in to see what we have. First thing I see is an Aquafina bottle. Sometimes I do carry around water just in case I get like coughing fits, my throat itches. So I have that in there. So I'm gonna go into the side pockets of my little purse organizer here. I have a pair of Cheap old sunglasses from Forever 21. These were like $6. I do not like wearing sunglasses. And I used to buy like really, really expensive eyewear. But I figured it was just a waste of money because I just don't like wearing sunglasses. I know it's bad for my eyes. My eye doctor even said so herself. I'm trying to get into a habit of it. But oh, I just, I hate wearing them because it like ruins my makeup right here. I know, first world problems. But yeah. Got a pair of sunglasses just in case like I want to protect my eyes one day. In that same pocket, I got <laughs> a bunch of Halls cough drops. The next little pocket that I have, I have a lippy. It's a Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid. It's in the shade Nude Flush. I actually really like these. They're kind of like a liquid lipstick, but it's like a velvet matte. Um, it's not drying at all. I actually really like the way that these wear. So I have that in my purse. And along with that, I have um, some Sally Hansen Cuticle Rehab Access for your cuticles. I used to use this a lot. Um, honestly, I suck at taking care of my nails. I have a terrible nail biting habit. I do need to get acrylics put back on, but I work at a desk job, so and I'm literally typing all day. And the numbers that I'm putting in is kind of important, so that's the reason why I haven't gotten nails in a long time. Um, but I feel like whenever I don't have acrylics on, my cuticles are shot. Uh, so I was using this for a while, and it did really, really work. I don't know why I stopped using it, but I honestly think I forgot that I had it in my purse. The next thing I got is a tampon, but we all know what those look like, and I'm just going to put that back in there. Okay, there's another little pocket in here. Um, let's see what I have in here. I have two Nutri-Grain bars. I did a ton of running around this morning and I wanted to make sure I wasn't going to get hungry on the road. I did get hun hungry, but I didn't end up eating these, but I threw these in there just in case. The next thing I have is a, a chapstick. Um, I got this from Ulta. They had like a, like a five for five deal going on and I can never have enough chapstick. I put it on so often. Um, so this is just one of the ones. And it's just in my purse. Oh, it's in marshmallow mint and it doesn't taste or smell like marshmallow mint at all. It tastes like and smells like plastic, but 
I don't know. It moisturizes my lips, so that's all I can ask for. And the last thing that I have, not the last thing, another thing that I have in my purse is a receipt, and it's to Walmart. It's from when I returned a tree topper because I don't know if you know this, but tree toppers don't stay on Christmas trees. I don't know what the trick is, so if you know, let me know. All right, going in um, to another little pocket, I have some headphones. Use these daily. In the next little pocket, I have my work badge. If you don't know, I work for Wells Fargo. So that's my work badge so I can get into the building. Going into the big pockets, I have my Oleta. It mostly just holds, holds cards. Um, I really wanted something really slim. I didn't want a big bulky wallet. I used to have uh, a Kate Spade one that like zips up and everything, but it was just too bulky. I just carry around cards for the most part, so that I really like this. I got it from Target, and I think it was like seven, eight dollars, and it's been almost a year and a half, and it's been doing pretty well. And I really like the color; it's like a lavender. So, yep, got my wallet. What else do I have in here? So this is my little. Um, I don't even know what's, it's like a stabilizer, I think that's what Connor said. It's for our camera, like I said, I was filming today, I was doing like a little shop with me for Ray Dunn, that will be the next video posted. So yeah, I had to take the camera off this um, at one point and I just left it in there, so that's why that's in there. Usually my camera would be in my purse too, but I'm filming on it right now, duh. The next thing that I have is this hand lotion, I think I got this in a BoxyCharm. Uh, my November boxy charm? No, October boxy charm. Um, it smells like an old lady. It's not a bad scent. It's kind of refreshing, but I don't know. Honestly, I forgot that I had it in here. I haven't been able to use it. So, um, I got a York peppermint patty. It's still holiday themed or Halloween themed. I love York peppermint patties. It's one of my favorite candies. I got some change down here. I got 25, 35, 38 cents. At the bottom of my purse, I'm not gonna take them out. So I got this little uh, notebook. My father-in-law sent this to us a couple while ago. I don't even remember when. I've been writing down when I get headaches because I've been getting headaches a lot lately, like excruciating migraine headaches. So I wanted to kind of document it. So if it keeps persisting, uh, I can go to the doctor and maybe get some sort of medication on for something. And inside of that I also have a Secret Santa. Uh, we're doing Secret Santa at work and it's, I don't know, I don't know the guy that I picked uh, just because he's new to our team so this is really helpful. I have to go pick him out a gift probably tomorrow so that's that. Going to the kind of juicy stuff. So I got this little pouch. It looks all deformed and stuff. This is a MAC pouch from the Holiday Collection, I think last year. Yeah, it came with like a highlighter and a brush, a highlighting brush. Um, so I just thought this was really cute and I figured I would just throw like random stuff in there. Um, so what I have in here is a small little batiste. I have some Tylenol because I need Tylenol. Like almost daily, it's kind of bad. I have contact solution because I do wear contacts. I've been blind since the second grade and I'm 28 now, so you do the math. I do have a little hand lotion in Sweet Pea from Bath & Body Works. Um, and then I have a pair of nail flippers because, like I said, my cuticles are sucky sucky. Um, so whenever I get a hangnail, I need to cut it immediately. And then um, for the days that I do wear glasses, or if I just need to clean something, I have a little um, lens cleaning wipe. I have a purple pen to go with my little notebook. And I like this pen actually. It's a Pilot G2. These are really freaking good. The last thing that I have in here is my little stash bag. This is from Ray Dunn. I actually just got this today and I love it. It's so cute. Uh, this holds like all the makeup items that I have in here. I do have like a couple of like staple items. Another chapstick. Also, I have visine for contacts because my contacts get super dry sitting in front of a computer for eight hours a day. I have a little rollerball of Lucky You. I don't know if any of you guys know this scent. This is like a fifth grade scent to me, but it's still like, ah, oh, it's like nostalgic. I love that. You know what? I'm gonna put it on. It actually reminds me around this time of year, so it's kind of fun that I'm putting this on right now. I got the Falsies Push Up Drama Mascara by Maybelline. This is okay. 
So the next thing I got is a Sonia Kashuk. It's like an angled um, contouring brush. I think that's what it is. I use this for concealer, just kind of buff out my concealer. If I'm ever on the go and I need to do a quick face, um, I have a five minute makeup tutorial I will link above and that's kind of what these items are. Um, this is to buff out my concealer to hide my dark circles because I do have really, really bad dark circles. The next thing I have is a MAC lipstick in Blankety. I got an angled blush brush. Uh, it's the Lisa Frank. This was in an Ipsy bag. Uh, the next thing I got is a dose of colors. I think this is, yeah, uh, Kiss of Fire. I don't know why I have this in here. Red is not like a daily color for me, like at all. And then I have um, the LA Girl Pro Concealer. This is a concealer that I use on the go if ever I need to do a quick face just to get rid of my dark circles. This is a really dark color. It kind of matches like my skin tone. And the last thing I have in here is this e.l.f. Uh, contouring blush in bronzing powder. This is really good. I like to use the blush whenever I just need to do a quick face, so that's why I have this in here. And it has a pretty big mirror. And I think this is only like three dollars at the drugstore. All right, guys, that's everything that I have in my purse. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We would love to have you part of the Yap Fam, and we will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Oh, oh, oh.